In just a few seconds, guys, I'll be revealing the uh, new project sled I picked up yesterday. Uh, it's sitting in the back of the 7.3 currently. Um, what we got to do right off the bat before I show you, I'm going to kind of give you some information about it. Um, I got to put a recoil rope in it as it is broken. Hopefully, we can fix that. I got a piece of rope here from work. Um, but yeah, here it is a Formula 500 Skidoo 1996. I paid 40 bucks for the sled yesterday. Um, the track is in pretty damn good shape uh, for being, you know, it's sat for probably five plus years. It turns over, kind of feels light on compression. I'm not sure if the rings are just stuck or not. Um, but we'll see. We'll get it to turn over, hopefully, with the rope. If I can fix the recoil, that'd be great. It's just kind of laying in the engine bay. Um, I'm going to check for bees to make sure there's not any bees' nests uh, up in it. Looks, I checked it out yesterday. There were some nests, but no bees. The shocks are freed up. So uh, currently Sparky's not here to help me unload it, so I'm going to just kind of pop the hood open. I'll pull the recoil off or out, and then we'll go in the shop and I'll hook the camera up on the tripod. We'll do some recoil work. But yeah, guys, the seat's a little ripped. But for 40 bucks, I could park this thing out and make way more than 40 bucks. Um, so I think it was a great investment. And if I can get it running, I mean, that's going to be a great beater um, with the Rave, you know, the uh, power valves, 500 liquid. It's going to be a ripper for sure if it runs. So I'm not going to get my hopes up. We're going to go into this with low expectations. And we'll see what happens if it doesn't, if I can't get it running. You know, if I see some catastrophic damage, maybe we'll pull the cylinders off, see if it just needs pistons. Otherwise, we will uh, part it out. So that's where we're at. I'm going to get the recoil off, and we'll go from there. Assembly here. Um, you can see the rope is right here. Um, these skidoos use a different kind of starter pawl than you probably typically used to seeing. Um, they actually sell these kits pretty cheap. Um, you can replace these. I've actually had one of these apart on that old Formula SP I used to have. And way back in the videos, if you guys go back, you'll see um, what it was. I got some pretty thin rope, but hopefully, hopefully it will work. I'm about to put a big knot in it, um, but I'm sure it will be fine. So what we're going to do is pull this old rope out of here. I'm just going to probably cut it. Right there. Just got a side cutters. Pull it out. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to wind it up. And then I'm going to hold it, put the knot, you know, kind of feed it in through this here hole here. And then <clears throat> basically when you have it wound up, you hold it, tie it off inside. Then the, the, you know, the spring will pull it in. You want to have, on a snowmobile, you want to have like a couple feet of slack because it has to go up uh, a series of little hooks and stuff to your recoil handle. So you don't want it to suck the whole rope in and always have constant tension on it. That's kind of bad for the spring. So I'm going to do this, try to see if I can get it to work. I'll turn the camera back on when I have the rope kind of installed and we'll go from there. Up and you don't want to hold it anymore. You can kind of just take a vice grip and lightly clamp it to kind of hold the spring pressure um, so you can use your other hand. Um, just a kind of little tip to show you guys that. We'll try to get this back in. I think it's missing the little, there's supposed to be a little uh, notch in the recoil here. It's got a little uh, piece of metal with teeth on it. Pretty sure that's how it's supposed to go on these skidoos. I'm going to try to get away with tying a knot. Um, I don't think it's going to work very good, but we'll give it a shot. Um, if it doesn't, I will just buy that piece and we'll go from there. But for now, for testing purposes, it might be okay. We'll turn the camera back on when I get her finished up. All right, guys, it's getting pretty dark here. Um, if you guys can see, got the rope in its cover tied on. It actually feels like it's got a lot of compression, actually, guys. Um, for some reason, it turned over pretty easy on the clutch, but turning it over with the pull rope, oh, it feels like there's a ton of compression, so I'm feeling good. I just put a bolt kind of in that band clamp for the recoil. It seems to be working pretty good. Um, next, I'm going to pull the plugs. It's got BR90S's in, which looks like the correct plug. Let's see if we got some spark. And then I'll try a little bit of gas down the cylinders and see if she pops. And then I'll do a compression tack check and all that. And then we'll have to pull the carbs and obviously clean them, check the fuel system, uh, make sure everything's copacetic there. Looks like the line coming out of the tank is right there, possibly. And I'm sure the fuel pump is on it. I might delete the air box just because it's probably full of a mouse nest, is my guess. So we'll delete that, put some pod filters maybe. 
I'm not going to get my hopes up quite yet. Those power valves are probably really nasty, so I'll have to take them apart and check them out and make sure they're clean. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see what happens, see if I get some spark here, guys. Otherwise, I'll have to get a different shot. Um, but we'll check and see if we have spark. Let's see if everything works. He is on. Oh yeah, got spark baby, let's go, let's see if you guys can see that, I'll put it dark like that with the light back here, let's see if you guys can see that, but it's got good spark, um, very excited to see that, I'm going to try to throw a little bit of gas down here, or I'll just try to pump the primer. I haven't even looked inside the gas tank yet. Gas is very nasty. Very nasty. Um, I'm just going to try a little bit down its spark plugs and we'll try to see if it fires once. And that'll be it for this video. But uh, not bad. Uh, it's got good spark. I had to hook the tether switch up, guys, which is right up on the dash. I didn't realize where it was. And then we got spark, obviously, so that's good. Throttles pull. Very good. But yeah, I'm going to try a little bit of a throttle body cleaner that's flammable. Put that down the spark plug holes. Just see if it pops. And then that will be it for the video. So that was good. The recoil is working um, pretty darn good. Just make sure it doesn't wear the rope out right away. Um, but yeah, we'll try to get that thing. If it fires up, that's good. I'll continue. If it doesn't, that tells me there's something else wrong. So yeah, guys, that's where we're at. We're gonna try that next. I just put a little bit of two cycle gas down there. It might be flooded. I'm not quite sure. Um, so we'll just give it a shot. Kind of see what happens. Put my light out front like that. We're down in there, I guess. Oh, you heard it, she started. It definitely started. Primes. Huh. It popped right away though, guys. I heard a little bit of a fire. She fired a little bit. It's priming it full of gas. But yeah, she fired um, on that first pull there. I probably just pumped a bunch of varnish gas into it, so that probably wasn't a good amount of breath. But yeah, guys, had to try to get it started tonight in the dark. Hopefully you guys are excited to see what happens with this thing. We'll do a compression check next video. Start pulling the fuel system apart. Hopefully this thing's going to be a runner. If you guys are enjoying this, please like, leave a like on the video, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I'm out of breath here, guys. We'll see you in the next one.